here um, at the parade to be starting a little bit. That they're probably starting at the other end, but it'll take a little bit for the clothes to get here. But we'd like to introduce um, our gracious host here today. We're Bill, and actually, I'm going to let Kim talk with you. So well, I've known Kim for a long time. So <laughs> we're good friends. We are good friends, and we we really appreciate you allowing us to film from your beautiful home. Well, that's what it's here for, so we have a good time. So I always do this every year, and you know you guys have been coming since your guys were little guys, so we try to have a good time. And my guys are teenagers now, so who knows where they're at. Which makes me feel really old now. So, uh. <laughs> no, you still look young. Oh, thank Tell you. us about your home that you're living in here, this it's beautiful historic. historical home. It is an historic home. home. It's called the Votaw House, V-O-T-A-W. It was built in 1906, and um, it's um, just been a wonderful house to live in. I've enjoyed it. Uh, Miss Marjorie Fiorenza owns the house. She lives down in Monterey, and she lovingly restored the house about 20 years ago and, and shares it with me now up here, and I try to share it with as many people as I can. So that And who does the it. decorating, Bill? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> Let's I... Let's talk about that. I am a designer. <laughs> I have Broughton Designs here in town. I've been in business for 30 years in the Bay Area, and we really have a good time, so... And it looks and lovely. Fair. Very beautiful. Well, thank you. House, thank yeah. you. You guys are always welcome to come and, you know, stroll through it when you want to. So, so how many people are you expecting today at your home? Well, you know, we never know. Some years we, we've had as many as 200. I think we probably have about 100 today. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, good year. And, and will the mayor and uh, his lovely wife, Jennifer, well, be well, here? Well, the lovely wife is here, I think. But Mr. Tate, yes, he usually comes after his duties are done. So. Oh, that's right. He is in the parade, isn't he? He is yeah, in, the parade. in the parade. Yeah. We have a few people. We're in the parade this year, waiting for them. So. Excellent. And what, what's one of your favorite floats? You know, uh, I always like fire trucks. You know, I, fire I, I, trucks. I always wanted to be a fireman. So, <laughs> so that, that kind of wraps up the parade. It does. Like, so I it have really a like, does. Like a marine hunt and a, uh, <laughs> organizers ride by on a big fire. Yeah, that's it. That I have to wait true. till the very end to see that. So. Yeah. Well, we have right. lots of good bands today, I think. So we'll have a really great time <laughs> on TV. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so. We have more party party uh, participants, yeah. right? They're trying we, to <laughs> get to the party. I know. You it is the party in Morgan yeah. Hill. Um, you can see here that people line up along the street, and this is one of the famous corners here, Peak and Main, and it's right in front of Bill Tyndall's beautiful home. Thank so you. tastefully decorated. Um, it's just um, such a fun, fun event, and I think a lot of people along the streets um, would like to get to know Bill just to be invited to the famous 4th of July party. Well, thank you. But you know what? I want to thank you guys for coming every year and being here and, uh, you know, just participating with us. And I want to thank all the people that come to my party because everybody brings something to eat. Oh, so yes, there is lots of We're going to have food. a lot of Ziplocs heading out the gate at the end of the day. That's right. <laughs> I figure we'll deserve our meal. Uh, we we yeah. will have earned it after the parade, <laughs> right, exactly. Bob? Right. <laughs> you guys never get to eat, though, you know? No, yeah. I've got some food. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go in after the parade because okay. we have to pay attention to all the wonderful floats going by. All right. Well, you guys have fun and come back next year. We oh, will. We definitely will. We will. Right. Because I think this is the third or fourth year that we've well, been here. Maybe the third. I think so. Your fourth year, actually. Fourth year, yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. Oh, great here. starting. And it's a perfect location. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're right here at the perfect view, nice shade. Well, I put you right down. at the end of the driveway every year. So, yeah. you know, you're right here, close to the bathrooms, too. So. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's always handy. Yeah, it's a long drive. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I think the parade started about 11 minutes ago, 10 o'clock. So it'll probably take about so, 10 minutes. We'll see it coming down the street. All right. Well, you guys Starts have a great downtown, day. Starts downtown, and then and then comes right by yeah, here. I saw, and uh, I saw a motorcycle police officer just ride by, so he's probably clearing the way. We kind of have sure a couple of our retired clear. officers here today. Came over the party because they always see it every year, and they like we're retiring. We're coming today. Oh, so that's right. terrific! To make it that's in, terrific. Have some food. So. That's excellent. Yeah. All that's right, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Well, thank we you. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks again. Gladly. And, uh, bye. We'll probably see you later. Thank you. Again, that was Bill Tyndall, who graciously hosts a 4th of July party here at the corner of Main and Peak, which is right along the parade route. He also owns Broughton's Interior Design. That's how I met Bill. He was my savior when I bought a home that had a lot of 70s decor, and we had to bring it up to date, and Bill, Bill was the man. So uh, yeah. anyone else interested in interior design uh, yeah, uh, work, uh, he is the person. Yeah, so. Broden, Broden Design. 
Yeah, Broden Design. Yeah. He's been here a long time, like you said, yeah, about he 30 years. Yeah, he's got a place downtown. He did. And I think, he did. Uh, I think it was now a, he just works out of his home. He does, and and uh, he uh, he had a retail retail store, and we used to frequent yeah. that. And he was talking about my boys, and every oh. year Bill would give each of my boys a very beautiful Christmas ornament. Oh, so cool. when we right. decorate our tree every year, we put up right. the ornaments that he would give the boys. I know, he said little guys. Yeah, they were well, little I remember men. when they were little Yes, too. yes. <laughs> well, they were bo both There's, born uh, yeah. since we moved to Morgan Hill, and of course now they're 18 and 16. Um, one at each high school, Live Oak Acorns and uh, Sobrato Bulldogs. One graduated just, just June from Live Oak. Oh. And um, my Bulldogs going into junior year, so oh. yeah. Oh, go Live Oak. That's go, yeah, to. go Live Oak, right. That was the original high school. In fact, oh, oh we have our... Oh, that was the that is fantastic. Of, of, I don't know if we can get okay. I think they might be Hello, past. I'm Emily Carrillo, and over. this is Ooh, Kevin Heath. Before, there was and we are here like at the 4th of there. July parade this year. Um, Kevin, can you tell me something you love about the parade? I love that the parade still exists yeah. in a lot of towns. And then we'll have to listen. And, yeah, we'll and listen for it. And, and we'll be quiet, and we'll, we'll and I'm film gonna, it. I'm going to mention our crew again, because I know one important guy I forgot to mention was Larry Talbot. He's at the studio, and he's the one who's making that. Um, he's connecting everything so that you guys can see it on air and streaming. And then we've got Jim Carrillo. He waved earlier. Uh, his director and doing the switching. Uh, Teresa's behind the camera, and we'll invite some other people. We're going to interview somebody by the flag. So this the is. Uh, so could you introduce that? And say, um, we have oh, our we uh, reporter on the street, on the Emily there Carrillo, go, is going to be Teresa interviewing. Does that make sense? Uh, mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. just see her. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's Teresa. And um, unfortunately, well, good for her, but this is probably going to be her last year with the 4th of July parade with that. Uh... Oh, no, maybe not. No, we oh. we'll invite her back down. Oh, no, we convinced her yeah, to stay. She's been with us now, for a long time I believe, and... Bob, that yeah. we're going to switch to the flagpole. We have our reporter on the street. And oh. Lee Carrillo is oh, going yeah. to interview and someone. She'll be back, so I think we're going to switch over. That'll. Um, um, and actually, Emily is Jim, who's doing the switching and directing. Uh, it's his daughter, and she was here last year with Teresa on air. So I think we're going to switch yeah. to her in a minute. And, uh, She's also I'm a student at, at Live Oak High School. That's She's right. She was going in into her senior oh, year. There she is. There's our reporter on the okay. street, Emily Hi, Creo. I'm Emily Creo, and we're here at the 4th of July parade. Um, What's your name now? Uh, my name is Kevin Heath. Um, Kevin, can you tell me something that you love about th this parade? I love that Morgan Hill still has this parade. So many towns in America have lost, has lost the parade. Well, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so many towns don't have parades like this anymore, and I'm glad that Morgan, Morgan Hill still does. That's great. Can you tell me something that brought you to here? Well, um, I know the host, Bill Tyndall. He's one of my best friends, and uh, I've been coming to his parties for years. And, uh, I mean, pretty much the entire city of Morgan Hill is here, so I had to come and join in. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is another parade. This is the 24th, and the parade's about to start. Is there anything you're really excited for about this parade? I love to watch the floats, especially the ones with kids, because they're so creative and they have such a great time out there. Do you know anybody in the parade today? Uh, I know the mayor, and I know uh, Larry Carr, and I think that's the only two people I know in the, sh in the parade. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, and we're going to go back to our hosts right now. Here is our Morgan Hill Fire Department. Our Morgan Hill Fire Department. <clears throat> has started off the parade. You can hear our parade viewers applauding. And they're getting close. The rest of the parade is getting close. And we've got our remote camera guys moving out there. For a minute, I thought maybe the camera was running the race again. And it looks like, oh, I can see some flashing lights. Hi, John John. 
There we go. So I can see lights coming down the street. Yes, the yes. The fire, Morgan Hill so, Fire Department uh, just went out. by. So they, the fire trucks book, book in the parade. So that is like correct. Fire, uh, fire they started and they ended. Truck. And of course, because we're in such a drought these days, we are very appreciative of our fire department yeah, and yeah. our firefighters, the men and women who respond to uh, to fires throughout uh, yeah, Morgan Hill in the county. It's the county um, Santa Clara Santa Clara County that Fire is, Department. Yes. Now, uh, yes. Working with Morgan Hill. That is true. They have the contract now and they're doing a fabulous job. We really appreciate their work. And uh, of course all the citizens of Morgan Hill are doing their part as well to conserve water and uh, be mindful of brush and things that are fire hazards, especially yeah. on 4th of July. Yeah. Because, people, um, people be, especially <clears throat> this year, shooting off fireworks. Yes, we have to be whatever. extremely, extremely cautious, careful, which is why the city of Morgan Hill hosts a fabulous fireworks show. Yeah. Tonight, it starts about nine o'clock when it gets dark and it'll be at Community Park again. And um, again- no, actually, it's gonna be out at the Sports Center. Oh, did they move it to the Sports they Center? They moved it to the Sports okay. Center, so all the, Entertainment and everything is there next to the aquatic center. Is that sports center with all the soccer? Okay, fields. and that's where they're. It did the say on the green in the Morgan Hill Life, and I wasn't sure was it on I, the green at Community Park that, or the green at the sports center? Yeah, the green at the sports center. Yes, park. okay. And I think this is only the second year that they're doing it. Actually. Yes, and it's wonderful because there's bleachers, there's a lot more room for the attendees. Yeah. Um, to see the fireworks, and it's a fabulous show if you have never been. Come on down it's, to Morgan Hill tonight yeah. because it really is a fabulous show. Um, we know there's other fireworks shows going on in the county. Usually Great America has yeah, one as well. But um, my I favorite is Morgan Hill. I don't recall. Um, I don't recall if they do it in Morgan Hill. I know I've told some of the folks I work with to uh, come to Morgan Hill. Yeah. And um, you know, a lot of the residents in Los Banos and San Martin and yeah. Gilroy you know that's not too far for them to travel to enjoy our yeah, wonderful patriotic day and the entertainment before the fireworks and of course you get to the fireworks early because you like to get a good spot either on the on the grass or up in the bleachers and uh, marty wrote marty cheek with morgan hill life they wrote a couple articles in the morgan hill life one about oh. how july 4th events are run by volunteers Hundreds yeah, of volunteers, a, a lot of volunteers and right. then also just about Freedom Fest events. And uh, Jeff Dixon is our president now of our Freedom Fest. Oh, he is. Yes, for the next few years. He considers himself a newbie oh. because, of course, past presidents have done it for, you know, 10, 15 yeah. years. So. Well, I know he's been a and it looks like we just had our uh, Morgan Hill Police Department yeah, ride by go. on their motorcycles. And we've got, um, um, it looks like it's the VFW. We have VFW, which yes. always, the color guard always starts our parade. And they're starting up and they'll be coming by here in just a minute. And um, I do think we stand for that. Um, we normally stand as our VFW go by. And uh, I see all the viewers of the parade are standing and respecting our veterans. Our wonderful American flag. And right behind the VFW is the old fire truck. Um, you can hear the parade viewers applauding. We are very enthusiastic about our parade. Very proud of our tradition. Here's the Morgan Hill Fire Department in its old fashion. Santa Clara County Fire Department. And uh, of course, we do a lot of waving in our parade. Here comes another fire truck. Oh, Bill, Bill Tyndall's happy. And they still I guess. This is our city of right, Morgan the, Hill. Uh, this is the city Paramedics. of Morgan Hill. Paramedics. Cal Fire. Right, 
they, how, how they, they keep these trucks so the shiny is beyond me. <laughs> you know? I have a hard time just keeping my van clean. But uh, they work hard to keep all their equipment clean and shiny and very professional looking. And we appreciate they take time out of their busy schedule to participate in our parade. Another fire truck. Now, which street did the parade actually start on, Bob? Which street did it start it on? It actually starts out in Fourth Street. Fourth Street. They kind of stage in front of the Grange Hall there. Um, here's the Morgan Hill Police Chief David Swing. Yes, Chief Swing. And uh, that the car, that's a, actually an original. Was the Morgan Hill police car. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Kim Moreno, his dad was the police chief for years. Really? In Morgan Hill, I think. I think he started in the late 40s. I'm wow. not the wow. one. And that's the car that he drove. Wow. Uh, yes, we really love to preserve our history here in Morgan yeah. Hill. We have the Morgan Hill Historical Society yeah. that is very active at preserving historical monuments, yeah. locations. Yeah, and. Uh, just that stuff about Morgan Hill, and that's on Monterey Street. And I've never seen that big vehicle driving around. Now that's that interesting. That, uh, they could keep that one secret, I guess. Yes, I'm not sure what that one is, but. And um, I guess that's part of the SWAT team. Here's the, uh, here's the Morgan Hill police SWAT, SWAT team. Morgan Hill SWAT. And we have a helicopter flying over us. Oh, they have a lot more vehicles. Oh, you know what? got here is, uh, I have a note that we have the Weather Patrol, and that looks like it's probably down here, Emergency the Services. Weather Patrol, Emergency they'll, Services. They'll be coming by in a second. Interesting. Speaking of the weather, we uh, we expect it to be in the low 80s today, which that'll be perfect for our festivities. Otherwise, it could get, it could get quite hot here in Morgan Hill. It can. You I know. used to, uh, one story, I used to run the bands and music and stuff years ago for IDI yes. for a long time. And we had a stage set up on 2nd Street. And it was a flat stage with metal legs. It got so hot when we went to pull it off, the stage had sunk into the asphalt about an inch. Oh my goodness. It got so hot Oh out. my goodness. And I can only imagine the bands playing because we didn't have any cover or anything. Oh, they were but, yeah, so we hot. Yeah, we went to move hot. it and it was stuck in the street. Yeah, that's so what you hot. call a hot band. Yeah, that was a hot, hot band. street. And, and I think uh, they're probably seeing it now as the weather vehicle. Um, yes, that's like a, an interesting. It looks, it almost looks like one of those storm chasers. Yeah, that's really an interesting patrol car, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes, a storm chaser. Well, I'm glad we don't have tornadoes. They don't have to chase tornadoes. Yeah. We do have our occasional earthquake. And now, oh, now I love this. We have many lakes in Santa oh. Clara County. So here's our sheriff department uh, boat. And they patrol our lakes in Santa Clara County. We have Lake Anderson, we have uh, Uvis, Calero, and uh, I don't recall yeah, seeing the sheriff's patrol boat in the parade in the past. I, I don't remember either. I think that might and be a first. The Morgan Hill Fourth of July, the official banner parade. Here's the official banner and our proud event sponsors sponsors that looks like johnson lumber ace hardware ace hardware johnson lumber they're wonderful they're excellent supporters of our schools this is our live oak acorns cheer squad all right and they are dressed for the hot weather yeah. <laughs> otherwise sometimes those cheerleading outfits can be quite warm uh, when you're marching in a parade. One year I was in the parade when uh, my husband George was on school board. Oh, the whole family rode oh, on the old oh, fire truck. Right. Yeah. And uh, it was a very hot day that year. So yeah, I was in the parade last year. And, and which float? Uh, I was actually uh, Morgan Chamber of Commerce Man of the Year. Oh, I remember, year. yes. So I was riding actually in the bed of a little truck. I when was, it was hot. I was toasting. Yes, the you have to have lots of water. And here is our wonderful Live Oak award-winning, award-winning Emerald Regime Band.
This is a famous, famous uh, band here in Morgan Hill. And when you're part of a competition band, you need to travel all over. These kids are extremely dedicated. So, the director is Jason Moffat. Definitely earns to be it Grand looks like Marshal. Looks riding in a vintage World War II Jeep, I think. Excellent. So I am going to... Uh, Commonwealth Credit Union. They're one of our local credit unions. And actually, I'm going to... Um, we've got a special host. You guys saw her earlier, Emily. And uh, I'm going to switch places with her and let her join you. Sure. And then I'll probably, I'll come popping in on okay. here and there. Excellent. And, uh, Excellent. So I will switch with them a little bit. So Commonwealth Credit Union has quite a float. They have really put some effort into their float. It is beautiful and um, looks like many of their employees and their families have joined them today in the parade. It really is an exciting event to participate in if you get the chance to actually be in the parade. Um, as I mentioned, my husband George Panis was on the Morgan Hill School Board for four years, so our whole family was able to participate one year in the parade, and we rode on one of the old fire trucks, which was really exciting. And. Uh, It's almost as much fun to be in it as it is to watch it. A uh, little easier to watch it though. So we have our South Bay Blue Stars and uh, Emily has joined me. Our street reporter has joined me now. Hello. Emma, do you have a favorite float, Emily? Uh, I just enjoy watching all of them. I don't really have a favorite. Now Bill Tyndall was telling us that his favorite, um, he loves to see the fire trucks. So we were saying, well, that's great because we start the parade with the fire trucks and we usually end with a fire truck. And this is our South Bay Blue Star moms. And uh, we are honoring our uh, veterans, those who uh, have served in the past and who are actually currently serving. Yes. And. Um, Yes, we want them to come home safely. We also honor their families because day in and day out they um, support their, their sons and daughters who are serving. Next up here is St. Mary's School. This school is located in uh, Gilroy, yes. which is just south of us. And that's um, a float they've put together. They have a beautiful banner. We also wow, that now they have done an excellent job with their yes. float. It's, it's cute. It has a Montar globe on it. What it's is that made out of that globe? That is really something, isn't it? It looks like a balloon. Almost. It looks like a very large balloon. And it's showing us the world. And they have many students on the float, all ages. St. Mary's um, goes as high as eighth grade, similar to our St. Catherine's Catholic School here in Morgan Hill. And then, of course, these kids, once they graduate from St. Mary's, go on to 
to their high school. Now here is Jeff Dixon, and Jeff is a lifetime entrepreneur and longtime community service contributor. He's our president now, and as I was saying, he considers himself a newbie because previous presidents of our Freedom Fest, such as uh, Bob and Maureen Hunt and Karen Crane, um, have done it for years. And uh, Jeff has taken this on. He, I know Jeff and met Jeff when he was running uh, the flag football, and both my boys participated in the flag football program. Uh, which was very organized. Excellent program. Looks like uh, we have a pause in the parade. Yeah. What so, just passed is, well, right now there's the Sobrato cheer. Now our Sobrato Bulldog cheerleading team is wearing tie-dye shirts, which is yeah. really cute. Fourth of July. Fourth of July tie-dye shirts. And we have our sister city float. Sister cities in um, Italy, Ireland, Japan, Turkey. We have our Cub Scout pack, 766. One of our local Cub Scout troops, another excellent organization for our youth. They do a lot of community activities. They also earn their badges, they camp. Scouting's a wonderful, wonderful organization. Here's Johnson and Lumber. Johnson Lumber. One of their flatbed trucks. They're passing out American flags for everybody. That is wonderful. So everyone who is participating, everyone who is viewing the parade can actually yes. wave a flag. Yeah. You know, the, the floats are quite generous that way. And Johnson Lumber, Ace Hardware, they're wonderful um, contributors to the community. They, uh, they helped us out at Live Oak High School for yes. our grad night celebration. They were one of our sponsors and we really appreciated that for our safe and sober grad night. And now we have Bill Monning, our state senator, is in the parade, which is fabulous that he has joined us today. Another one of our proud sponsors, the Morgan Hill Times. Uh, the Morgan Hill Times has uh, been around for many years. I know since I moved here in 1993, I have been subscribing to the Morgan Hill Times. And uh, I have also contributed articles just about different events. They're very generous about allowing the community to participate in publishing articles and uh, my husband wrote for a while he wrote an article called uh, view from el toro and again it would just be his perspective on what was going on in morgan hill so it's it's a wonderful wonderful paper and yes. now this is our patriotic city group isn't yes it? with mrs crane did you ever participate in this when you I were did. younger? I used to, she used to be one of my Girl Scout leaders and I'd sing with them too. For a long time I was with them. She also brings some of the kids downtown to our uh, Veterans Memorial statue and has them sing um, at our Veterans Day and our Memorial Day ceremonies, which is, which is wonderful. She's always been very active every year in our 4th of July festivities. And we have the Morgan Hill Unified School District, which of course the high school you attend, Live Oak, yes. is part of the Morgan Hill Unified School District. And we have some of our school board members. Um, on the float and their families. 
It's wonderful. Uh, it's an it's, uh, elected position, the Morgan Hill Unified School Board. And, um, and I believe those were the Morgan Hill Unified School District employees. I, I think I was mistaken. I think those were Morgan Hill Unified School District employees, not board members. Um, this is one of our school buses going by. And it looks like they've got a job posted. School yes. bus drivers wanted. So if anybody's watching today and you qualify, apply for the school bus driver position. You probably can find more information on the Morgan Hill Unified School District website. Um, but, but that was nice that they advertised here at the parade because sometimes people are looking for employment. And uh, that would be a wonderful employer. Now, one of my favorite floats is the <laughs> Wildlife too. Education and Rehabilitation Center. And we have our wonderful volunteers and employees. And we also birds. have some of the critters. Yeah, some of the animals are there on our float. Ooh. It's like we have a vulture and a to be in the falcon. And oh, aren't they beautiful? And of course, it's a nonprofit organization. So many of the people, of course, are volunteers, and they accept donations. They rescue wildlife that are injured, yes. rehabilitate them. We have Teacher of the Year, Vincent Gutierrez from Britain Middle School. Um, next is Vanguard with their um, band and flags. Gorgeous, the gold and the orange. Vanguard, they have they practice all year long around. Do they? Yes. They're and they like and they go and travel during the summer to other It's very difficult. Yeah, it's much more difficult I think than it looks. Yeah. A couple of my friends are in Vanguard. DCI World Championship titles. That's very impressive. We are lucky to have them in our parade. This is Yusigi Farms, and I'm sure when you were little, uh, you probably visited the pumpkin patch. I would bring my boys when they were young to the pumpkin patch. They had the little train on it, too. Oh, that's right, the train, they sure do. And it was always great photos at the pumpkin patch. You yes. Know, the beautiful orange pumpkins. AAUW, American Association of University Women. They have their wildflower run, walk run every year. And uh, they award scholarships every year to women in our community to further their education. Thank you, AAUW. It looks like the organization has grown considerably over the years. Yes, yes. 
This is American Legion Post 99 that has um, just passed us. One of our VIPs in the parade is Luis Alejo, assemblyman from the 30th district, driving by in a nice convertible. I'm probably going to jump back in about here, just for... Just so young and tiny. Adorable. In fact, we have quite a few horse farms in the area. I believe we're one of the largest horse populations per capita um, in the western United States. Next up, uh, I believe that these horses can hold a carriage full of two adults. Really? They're that strong, these wow. horses. Wow. They're just all muscle. Yes. San Martin Horsemen's Association is in our parade. Yeah. Here they go by. There they are. And you can't have a horse ranch without ranch hands. This is the Western ranch hands. They occasionally stop before they make that left turn onto peak. They have to make sure the pacing's correct of the parade because we do have um, quite a few participants this year. It looks like about 139 or so 
um, which is quite a large parade. The first tea, Silicon Valley. It's a um, golfing. You can see that their flag flags yeah. are attached to golf clubs. It's um, an organization, a group, to teach the youth to uh, to golf. And that's a that's a terrific sport. Um, both our high schools have golf teams that do quite well and uh, golf has really become quite a popular sport. Do you it golf? Has. No, but a lot of my friends do. Do they? Yes, they they golf a lot. They're all on the golfing team too. Excellent, excellent. In fact, there's many colleges and universities that award golf scholarships and sometimes students forget about yeah. that. It's know. very rare for, uh, for uh, people to do golfing now. Uh, so that's why there's like a lot of scholarships out there because it's different. Yes, yes. And it takes lots of practice, yes. like anything, to be good at golf. I uh, play tennis, however, I've tried golf and uh, I find tennis to be easier. <laughs> I don't have quite the swing down uh, to be a golfer. But again, practice it takes practice. Looks like uh, Morgan Hill native Dave Ben Sr. and Ben's Construction Company is passing us. Since uh, 1946, Ben's Construction has been in business. He's on an old tractor, red tractor. Honda of Morgan Hill, they relocated here a few years ago from Gilroy. And uh, I happen to be one of their customers. I drive a Honda Odyssey, so it's now nine years old. So I'm in there for regular maintenance. They do a fabulous job, excellent service. Honda is known for their service. And uh, they've done an excellent job serving the San Martin, Morgan Hill, Gilroy customers. I'm sure they they even have some South San Jose customers, I would imagine, because Honda is a very popular popular brand of car. There's many cars. They have a lot of cars, and uh, they had a big promotion a couple weeks ago for leasing cars. They were um, were promoting leasing of some Honda Civics, one of their more popular vehicles. And next up is San Martin Quinn Environment and Science Academy. And here they go by. So San Martin Gwynn is our elementary school that is the farthest south yes. um, of our Morgan Hill Unified School District. The district is very spread out as far south as San Martin and as far north as South San Jose with uh, Los Paseos Elementary School. And we have Martin Murphy Middle School, which is also located in South San Jose. Did you go to Britain or to Martin Murphy? I went to Martin Murphy. Martin Murphy, okay. So my younger son went to Martin Murphy, my older son went to Britain. We like to just get the full experience of yes. Morgan Hill Unified School District. It. Our Morgan Hill Animal Hospital is driving by. In a Jeep. We have many pet owners in Morgan Hill, and uh, we even built a dog park. Yes. I, I um, would bring my dog and previously my cat to the Morgan Hill Animal Hospital. And next 
That was the American Red Cross. Dr. Harika, he's on the back of the veterinarian uh, float today. American Red Cross of Silicon Valley. They have two of their trucks. And of course, American Red Cross does fabulous, fabulous services for uh, for countries around the world. Yes. When we have our natural disasters, they are there to assist. American Red Cross started, I believe, in World War II. Did they? Yes. Was it a nurse that started it? Yes. I I can't remember her name, but. She started with a couple ladies, and that's they went into the war and helped with the men. And look how serving. it's grown. Look what it has become. Just Amazing. Just a few people to. A few over. people. A few people doing some kind yeah, things. Don't go too far. Thank you, Emily. And Emily will return. Quite a few of our party goers here at Bill's house that are rooting on the participants. We have Shriners Hospital for Children, South Valley Lodge, Rainbow for Girls. Shriners Hospital. Shriners Hospital. So uh, I'm back again. Uh, Emily's just taking a little bit of a break. She'll be back, She'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, um, she might be interviewing yeah. some more of our party participants, uh, perhaps? You know, I'm not sure what they have lined up for, but I'm just going to sit in for a little bit, um, and then she'll be back. Excellent. Just give her Excellent. a break. Of course, Kim doesn't get a break today, so for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am known for having the gift of gab, yeah. so I'm sure I can continue. Well, actually, it worked out really good. Unfortunately, uh, First, I called to see if George wanted to do it. Yes, husband, he's back east. And he was back east, and Kim in, said, well, I'll do it, and they're great on camera. We've worked you. together a long time. We have worked together. videos. Right, and, and actually, I wrote some rap song. Yeah, tell them about that. Well, my company's Hospira Inc., based out of Chicago, but we have our U.S. Factory Service Center and support organization for our infusion pumps in South San Jose, California. We celebrated our 10-year anniversary and they offered a contest and you could do anything you want to talk about or convey what the 10-year anniversary meant to you as an employee. So I wrote a rap song and Bob was gracious enough, of course, to videotape that and I happened to come in the top 10 winners. That's awesome. Oh. So it was shown globally and I won an award. It was, it was fun. We've yeah, done lots of work fun. together. Yeah. Lots of videotaping. That's fun, fun videos. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, that every now and then in your job, you have a serious job. Yeah. If you have the right management, they allow you to uh, infuse a little Play creativity a little and fun, right? It's always uh, a pleasure to go to work when you can have a little bit of fun. Oh, and I love the bands. Talk oh. about fun. This is the San Jose <laughs> Metropolitan Band. I haven't seen them before. I don't no. know if they do this year. But I love the brass. I love it. Yeah, it looks like it's conducted by... Oh, Greg Zabri. I know that name. So. Greg Bergantz, yes. Uh-oh, here comes... Uh, I think I found Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like oh, that's uh, Cinda. I see Cinda, one of the Cinda, owners of Booksmart. Yes, from Booksmart. I don't and they see went by Brad. so long. I think that might have been Booksmart. Um, ah, where's Brad Waldo? fell off. Cinda said Brad fell off. Oh. 
So Booksmart is actually on, on 2nd Street and Depot. Yes. And they're a great place, bookstore. Oh, and Known them uh, a long time. Yeah, and actually our... Uh, There's Mayor our Steve Tate. studio is right next to Booksmart. That is right. And um, so we're in and out of Booksmart all the time. they got the little cafe, they have great ice cream. They do. You know, you can bring the kids. They have all kinds of activities. There. And I call Cinda okay. and I, I ask about books for the, the boys for yeah. school or... Their summer assignments, they, they need to read certain books, and book sparts always there. If they don't have it on the they'll shelf, they'll order it for you. And I'll tell you a secret, I don't know if they want to tell. When I need a book, I research it on Amazon. I go into Booksmart and order it, same. Wow, yes. You know, and they yes. have it right there to me. I'm, and they're wonderful and supporting. If you can buy, yeah, if you can buy something local, um, support your local community, because Booksmart's really good uh, community support. Well, fabulous for Christmas gifts because yeah. they have the whole department in the back Everything. with toys. Yeah. So it's it's books. And they've got their educational toy, toys, toys and in the back. And um, now Cinda's also a notary. So I recently had I recently had Cinda notarize some paperwork for my son and his yeah. future college roommate. But uh, they, they were also very gracious, and they support a lot of the school activities. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we really appreciate Brad and Cinda and their, their very and giving attitude. Oh, there's Brad right <laughs> there's there. Brad. Just went by. <laughs> catching up, I, I guess. he's catching up, yes. It's Brad, where But they also at? have a little community meeting room in the back yes. now. Um, yes, I know Kiwanis meets there. Yeah. Um, that's and one of our services. And this is our destination. America. Destination America. Well, you know, Destination America is the theme of our parade. Oh, okay. This I was going to so, um, Light of the world. Okay. That's a beautiful float. Destination and America, because this is, of course, the country that so many other world citizens would like to belong to. Yeah. Um, you know, we always say America, the land of opportunity, and uh, can't be any more true. So I think Destination America is a very fitting theme. Yeah, that's got some boats coming up here. You know, it's oh, interesting too about Booksmart. It's in its 17th year. I'm, time just flies by, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I know. It's crazy. Hi, John, John. We are here televising oh. on the local cable station. What do you have there? Oh, we're just trying to do some donations to help the parade. Oh, well, yeah. let's talk about you that can, a little bit. You can do next door there. Okay. They yeah. are okay, what we got here? asking for donations. And this is to And you're with help. the staff of the July uh, we festival? We volunteering. See how they asked for some help from the local... Uh, we are volunteering. Uh, they asked for some help from the local youth program, so like Live Oak Football and Sabral's FFA chapter are helping out. And one of the ways we're helping out is we're trying to get donations to help make the parade keep going on because, um, you know, we're, money's a little tight in the country. It's not yeah. no secret, no, kind of like, it's not the elf in the room or anything. But we're just trying to, like, whoa. Whoops. <laughs> and it looks like we've got yes. Tiffany Hendrickson going by here. Uh, Miss Wheelchair, California. All right, thanks and good luck. Thank and you and good luck. And uh, now you mentioned that was Tiffany that went by. So it looks like we're a little bit. Huh? Have we must have? So this is. It looks like we're down here. Sifu Meng. I think they are number sixty-nine. Number 69. So I think they're just out of order a little bit. Yeah, sometimes they like to stump us, don't yeah. they? Yeah. We kind of mix it up. We get the list and uh, they mix things up. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sifu Ming. It's a Kung Fu and Tai Chi yeah. studio. Well, you can definitely hear them coming by. Yes, you can. It's loud. Honda's competition. The oh, Ford yeah. store is coming up here on the parade route. And it looks like we've got the. Uh, this is probably the Live Oak Alumni Drum Line. 
That's coming up a little ways. I'll have to see if I recognize anybody. My, yes. One of my uh, good friends I used to play in a band with is really? an alumni, and he used to come out uh, and play in the alumni. Well, it's wonderful that the alumni... Well, I do recognize one of them. They'll be coming up here in a second. Take the time I see Kirk over out. there. I know. Oh, and there's a little other local musician. Jeff Stramitz playing the snare. Well, for alumni, they sound great. I don't think they really get a lot yeah, of These guys are, yeah. Before. Well, and I went to uh, Live Oak with a couple of the guys. Really? Jeff. They probably spent all day yesterday rehearsing. They're, good, yeah. they're very in sync. They know what they're doing. They're they're quite good. <laughs> Looks like we have another old Jeep coming upon us. And an old And this looks like in the Jeep is Art and Donna Klingbile. Klingbile. They and, have just decided oh, here's to the Morgan Hill Chamber of Commerce. And that's uh, the front there is Rich Ferrato. Let's see who else is on there. Oh, John Tarvin. There's John Tarvin. Oh, uh, I haven't seen John, uh, John, John for, for a long years. time. Yes. Yes, uh, he, he had his printing business. Company. Yes. And I have known John and his wife, Linda. Yes. She is also really does a lot for the community. Yes, they're very active to senior center. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, wonderful. I think <laughs> and again, that's Rich Ferrato. He's the president of the Chamber of Commerce this year. Yes, our chamber works very hard yeah. to help support and promote our local businesses yes. in town. And uh, they do a lot for the community with our Mushroom Mardi Gras. Yeah, okay. In just a moment, we'll be doing some okay, on the street so I think, interviews. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break again and let Emily come back. Okay. And uh, so That's, I will be back. Uh, oh, there we've got the aquatic center, the, uh, the dolphin. And actually, I was talking about it earlier. The aquatic center is having a, they're opening it up today with uh, for the kids and everything. It's their 10th anniversary. 10 and years. Isn't 10 that amazing? Years, yeah. And they're going to actually. You can come to the event and then stay for the fireworks because they're right next to each other. So you have a prime so spot. never a dull moment on Fourth of July in Morgan Hill. Now coming up is uh, oh yes, another fun event in the area is the Salinas Rodeo, and. And this vehicle is making a lot of noise. All right, you're on <laughs> Channel 19. What do you have to? How are you enjoying the parade today? It's always a great day for a parade, but I'm very happy to be here today. And your name is? So, uh, California, California Rodeo of Salinas. Wonderful if having you here. Been what city are you from? I'm from Hollister. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Great, close it's to home and everything. Enjoy the parade. <laughs> They're interviewing. That's And now we've got Leadership Morgan Hill coming up, and they've been around for a long time. I was the class of, uh, I went to Leadership in 99. Cecilia! Campanos! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Cecilia. Cecilia oh, Ponzini is, is on this float, Bob. And um, she started Cecilia's Closet. Oh, yeah, is Cecilia. Which at Central. She does um, a lot. I actually do work with her. Um, she does a lot. And, and she has a, a free no kids lunch left. program. Yep. So, yeah, and she's actually, she was a woman of the year. Yes. This year. Yes. She's fabulous. Yeah. She, she, she's always busy. We keep missing each other. I've donated oh. clothes for Cecilia's oh, yeah. Closet <laughs> and for young women to go interview. Well, she's so busy. She's everywhere. She is busy. And of course, they own the Ponzini's Community yes. Garage, which has been serving the community for decades. 
All right, we're live on the street with the Morgan Hill, it looks like Rotary Club. So let's see if we can get an on-air interview with the Rotary Club. I got Jacob as my cameraman. We're venturing the things. Well, Mr. Randy Took, How you doing? you're on Cable Channel 19. How is your parade marching going? Oh, this is wonderful. We are here with Rotary. We are honoring our uh, visiting, uh, whatever she is. She's a... Um, well, she's got to be a Rotarian, huh? Well, we yeah, are except she's at from the Rotary. Mexico, and oh. she's on she is a sister going team, and now. she is. It's like a sister club, and she is an exchange. And the two women in the car back there, one is from here going there, and the other one's from there going here, and they switch off. All right, have a good one. All right. So Rotary is going by the youth exchange we have a um, an exchange student priscilla torres castellano from Ameca, mexico and now informed choices this is our mobile free pregnancy verification and ultrasound um, service Every year we have a fabulous car show. Of course, before the parade actually started, our yes. collection of cars drove by, People which is always there. fun to see. I love going to car shows with my dad to see all the different types of cars. What now, is this? This yes. is Morgan Hill Athletic Center. Wow. It's new on Cochrane. One of my friends is there in the stands. Yes. Michelle! Michelle! I'm going to have her wave to the camera. Michelle! Michelle! You're on cable TV! Wave! Sandy! There, it looks like they're doing various workouts. They are. <laughs> it's I a love their new costumes. athletic center in town. It's new. You know, we, we have many. We have 24 hour. We have. Um, the hot yoga center there's the course centennial rec center if uh if you are a member there they've got a variety of activities the jewel box tracy ullery owns the jewel box all right we're back on the parade route we got some wireless video going on aviva how you doing this is a friend of mine from toastmasters and who are you here marching with uh, Dominic Gottfried. Very good. Yes. All right. Our and Intero family is. Intero family? Yes. All right. Well, glad that you all are in the prayer. Are you enjoying the day? Lovely. All <laughs> right. Beautiful weather. And your name is? My name's Nicola. Nicola. Well, yes. enjoy the parade. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Back to you. And here is Dominic Godfrey, the van that just went by. He is a realtor with Intero Realty. Some of our Live Oak football players and athletes, I notice, are carrying banners throughout, yes, throughout the parade, which is wonderful. Oh. Coming by is the Cupertino Band. Wow, so we have Cupertino Symphony Band, Symphonic Band. They sound terrific. That's what Bob and I were talking about earlier that the Morgan Hill Parade is the official Fourth of July Parade of Santa Clara County. So we have participants from all the surrounding cities. Dennis Kennedy, our former mayor of Morgan Hill, and uh, he has been sitting on the district water board. Here is the Tea Party Patriots of Silicon Valley. We occasionally see them downtown Morgan Hill with their flags and their signs promoting their patriotism and their political views. 
because in America, freedom of speech. And so we hear about a variety of views and perspectives on uh, issues in our country and our state. This is uh, California Sports Center Gymnastics. All right, we're on the parade route with Gymnastics Troop. And what's your name? Pam Rodriguez. Hi, Pam. And which Gymnastics Troop is this? Uh, it's it's just a whole uh, community, the Morgan Hill uh, California Sports Center. Beautiful. So yeah, lots okay. of girls, lots of boys involved. So yeah. All right. Well, let's see you do one of those flips. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, Emily and Kim, back to you. So our gymnasts just tumbled by, yes. didn't they? <laughs> Many of the kids are tumbling in the streets. <laughs> and here they go. Ascot special events. So if you're planning a party, this is another company. You can rent tables, chairs, party <laughs> needs. And coming up is the military collector's cars. Well, this is a very interesting. 95A through 95O. And there a they all are lined military up. Military collector cars. Now, isn't this something? With collections this large, I always wonder now, where do they store these? Are they stored in a museum? Or where are they <laughs> when we're, we're not seeing them in the parade? Um, most of us collect smaller items and so yes. you have them in your home or you know on bookshelves but but where do you put this collection this is very cool I don't it see is many very of these. very interesting we really have quite a variety of participants in our parade this year it's really a nice variety and uh, really represents america which is what the 4th of July is all about independence, freedom of speech, red, white, and blue, patriotism. You know, it's interesting because over the years, uh, before the parade, they would have a design contest, and oh it, um, it was to design artwork for the shirt. So like my shirt I'm wearing today, yes. um, the tie-dye shirt was one year that they sold them. And then the proceeds from this shirt, for example, went into the Freedom Fest um, funds so that we could continue to support the parade. That's nice. And I've brought a couple other shirts. Um, from previous years that I'll show, I'll show uh, our audience. For example, uh, let me grab a couple here. So here's one, Emily, that um, this artist, Stephania Miconte, won the design contest this year. And I can't tell you what year, it doesn't have the year on it, but uh, this year was sold. And one other year. Wait, we have a. All right, I'm Jim Creel with Morgan Hill Access Television, and uh, who am I have the pleasure of shaking hands with? Larry Pereira. Larry, well, and you're representing the Marine Corps. Marine Corps League 1122. All right, were you in the Marines? Yes, sir. Uh, what years? 57 to eight more years after that. <laughs> Thanks for your service, and have a good one. Thank you. Back to you, Larry. And we're back one other year. This shirt was sold and won one of my favorites because it really displays Morgan Hill. It shows Hill. the community. The community and the little festivities. And, um, you know, the artist on this one, the person that did this art, Linda Bassett, was the artist. So I don't know if these artists are still in Morgan Hill, but we still have their artwork on our shirts. And here passing by is the Marine Corps League and Marine Corps. Oops. 
And I believe coming up is our local radio star, Lisa Chrysler, from K-Bay, 94.5 FM. One of my favorite stations, I have 94.5 logged in. She's in our parade every year, Lisa Chrysler. You can close your eyes, listen to her voice, and you'll know it's Lisa Chrysler from 94.5. Sam and Lisa in the morning, weekday mornings, 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And right here, here coming up is the <laughs> uh -oh, we're in Mount Charlie. I'll point you guys All right, up. Uh, Lee Clampus Vitas. I'm not familiar with this float, but I'll tell you it's an interesting it's one. Some Californians are. Bob again. I'm out in front of the. Uh, Bill's house here, and we've and got a few spectators, uh, up is, people who are attending, and let me know who's your name and introduce yourself. Like, my name is Scott Lynch, and I'm from Gilroy, actually. My name is Abby Lynch, and I'm also... And uh, we're, do you come up here often for these parties, or...? Oh, okay, great. It's a good time, huh? It's fun. It's fun. It's great, great vantage point for the parade, and, you know, the friends here, it's, it's always good to see them. Yeah, I love watching the parade, and just a, a lot of my friends are in the parade too, so it's fun. Yeah. You get to wave at them and see them in here. Um, how do you know Bill? Um, I met Bill through South Valley Civic Theater about seven years ago. We shared the stage, and uh, it's a wonderful life. All right, well, great, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. We're going back to the parade. So the Arroyo has High School marching band passing by right now. Now they're from San Lorenzo, which is uh, pretty far away, at least an hour or so. And uh, wonderful. It's so nice to have so many bands in our parade. That really yes. makes the parade, the music, the marching bands. It's wonderful to listen to. Now, coming up is one of our local restaurants. And this is uh, Beto's. Beto's has a banner. They were formerly Riccatoni's, and the owner changed the decor and the name, slightly changed the menu. Um, my husband, George, and I frequent Betto's. We frequented Riccatoni's. And here's martial arts. All you. the kids on the float that attend this. Now, the head instructor and studio owner is uh, Mike Clampett. He holds a six degree black belt in Taekwondo from the AAU. He's also fifth Dan black belt from the Simonini School of Taekwondo issued by Chuck Simonini, Bob Wall, Chuck Norris, Bob Cheney, Byung Yu, as well as black belts in Kwan Bup and Kan Duk Wan certified. And here's our essay contest winners. Terrific. Every year we have some students go into an essay contest. Excellent. Good for them to take time out of their summer to write yes. an essay. <laughs> I've tried it before. It's very hard to write a winning essay. It's wonderful Many that you tried. You made the effort. <laughs> just making the effort is, is terrific. Especially when you're just out of school, right? Yeah. For the summer and and you enter the essay contest. You put your best foot forward. It is, a, it is fun to write and see what you get. And here's the Muddy Patriot. The wow. Muddy Patriot. And their float is quite interesting. It looks like they're climbing up something. They're very muddy. Well, they have a mud run obstacle course, and I think that's what they're trying to display yeah. here on their float, and they're doing a fabulous job. <laughs> it probably feels pretty good to be in mud today on a hot day in Morgan Hill. Yes. Some cool mud would feel good. Oh, 
now this is fun too, a shifty mobile bicycle mechanic. So if your bicycle is in need of repairs, they have their shifty mobile mechanic to fix it. Stephanie! <laughs> and here's all the bikes going by, all the kids in their bikes. That's fabulous. And we are quite a cycling town. Yes, we have many bikes riding around town. All right, we've got the next vote coming up is uh, Michael Brookman, a good friend of mine and just retired police officer. And introduce yourself. Hey, my name's Michael Brookman. I'm a retired cop. And I'm having loads of fun in the 4th of July parade. Yeah, yeah, but, and also, you're an author. Hey. Book on, the only book on Gilroy Hot Springs just came out this week. Okay, I'm broadcasting. There's plenty All of right. food and drinks. Thanks. Go ask for Bill. Tell him you're my friend and then I'll And find here's you. some people going by. This is Jerry, Jerry Kick, Kick Ranchette. Look at the vibrant blue. It's just gorgeous. And there's some horses pulling a carriage. Those miniature horses, actually. Yes, this is another equestrian participant. With American flags, and here. With more well, horses. and following, of course, is the Santa Clara County Horsemen's Association. And again, if you love horses, Morgan Hills, San Martin, Gilroy, it is the place to live. We have many horse ranches. We have uh, horse associations. And coming up is some more horses. Here's more of the horses. One. Los Dorados. It's a charo group. Now sometimes the charo groups are also at the Santa Clara County Fair. They are. I know uh, a couple years ago there was a wonderful charo group that uh, performed in the arena at Santa Clara County Fair. Here are the horses. And they practice year round. They have good control of their horses. Many of the groups, the charo dancers, the dancing horses, are really quite entertaining as well. Just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing horses. And of course, anytime you've got a group like this, we really have to commend the young man behind the group because yes. he cleans our, up the street. Our wonderful pooper <laughs> scooper. Our wonderful <laughs> pooper scooper. He, uh, hopefully they award him at the end of the parade yes. with hamburger, ice cream. french fries, <laughs> ice cream. I think he deserves it. Something nice. He gets a round of applause. And closely following is One Step Closer Therapeutic Writing. And so. this, is, this is a business that offers therapy through horses. And does wonderful things really for nice. people, yes. You know, sometimes we think of therapy as only going to a therapist or a doctor. There's and many wonderful different things that different ways that situations or issues can be addressed and uh, I understand horse therapy has been very successful. Hey, how you doing? You probably have one of the thankless jobs here on the parade, but Excellent. a very important one. Yes, that's right, thank you. Actually, I am getting more cheers probably than anybody else, so it's working out well. It's great. Oh, get a shot there, so. And coming up is a school bus, the Gilroy Unified School District. Gilroy is just south of Morgan Hill. We have Morgan Hill, then San Martin, and then Gilroy. Gilroy's population is 
slightly, slightly larger than Morgan Hill. They have uh, two high schools now, just like Morgan Hill. They have Christopher High School and they have Gilroy, Gilroy High. High. And uh, I know our schools end up playing both those schools in uh, football and other sports. And next is the little gym of Morgan Hill and the music tree. And the music tree. Music tree's been around a long time, supplying instruments and lessons to our yes. local musicians. I know that um, I recently now own an alto sax because we rented it long enough for Alexander that we now own it, which is fabulous. I attend classes at the music tree. Did you? What yes. do you play? I um, actually sing. You sing? Yes. I wow. take sing lessons there. We just might have to have you sing a tune, <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's wonderful. Here's an amazing float. Look at this Looks float. like a firework. Morgan Hill is the bomb. It's some type of 4th of July rocket, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, that's really something. Yeah. Here's now. Our, our mighty tree movers. We're a very environmentally conscious town, aren't we? Yes. And that's our recology of South Valley. It's wonderful, though, how green and lush our city is. You don't see many like this anymore. No, you really don't. Here's our Pacific Coast Recycle. This is our recycling company. They're very excited and dancing about recycling. Public, yeah. public dump site and transfer center. I've frequented that during certain times of the year. You uh, bring your recyclables. And here's our Santa Clara library. Um, here's their bookmobile where they have books. And we have a beautiful library in Morgan Hill. Yes, you know, we the do. organizers, the architect, the, the group that that worked so hard to build our new library did a fabulous job. They have great job. programs there for kids. Like like what type of programs they do they have, have? They have like movie days, they have reading days with certain with some people and stuff. I think Excellent. it's really cool. Excellent. You can and it's just beautiful, you know, the, yeah, the architect have, did a wonderful job. Here's Oak Grove High School coming up right here. So another one of our marching bands from San Jose participating in our 4th of July parade. Their flags. Our parade has become more and more popular every year. It has. We've had more and more people participate. Which just makes it so much fun to sit and watch and it really gives you that community spirit in our state. Yes. In our, because this is not just Morgan Hill participants. Um, we're drawing participants from all around who have heard about the parade, who have watched it on MHA TV, uh, cable TV, MHAT cable TV, channel 19, which Many we are come down to come see the parade too. Uh, you just can't be mornings in Morgan Hill. It's just so beautiful to wake up in Morgan Hill. We're very much a morning community. With our cyclists, runners, walkers, our dog park, our wonderful restaurants and businesses. You know, people put their chairs in their spots a week leading up to they the parade. They do. I, downtown, there's always chairs lined yes. up. I saw a couple of beautiful benches people had placed in the middle of downtown. And everyone's respectful of each other's chairs. Yeah, they you know, they're there for days um, because certain, certain viewers want their spot every year. So 
they bring their chairs down and they leave them. Sometimes they put yellow tape around yeah, them. Sometimes they wait. chain them to trees. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Who do we have? Oh, Jonah. Hey, how you doing? You're usually announcing over there in the third. Did you do that earlier? You're usually an announcer over here. Did you announce? I did. I just got off of there, and it's, it's amazing. I, I take the official shirt off, and I've got my other stuff underneath, and I hop on a car, get my camera out, and you'll be able to see a bunch of shots on my Facebook page after I... Jonah Dens Hamilton. Yeah. After I get a chance to edit them all. <laughs> And here we have the Boy Scout troop, $7.99. They have backpacks on. They were back, looks like they were backpacking. They do many local things. So they like came the off their hiking trail to yeah. participate in our parade. And uh, yes, I agree. The scouts Backpacking and is a hard thing to do. It is a hard thing to do. Me and my dad have backpacked before. And have it was, you? It was quite difficult for me. How much weight were you actually carrying? It was almost half my weight. Wow. It was. But you, you don't weigh that much, so. <laughs> <laughs> but half your weight, yes. But it was it was difficult on your back and hiking. We hiked about 10 miles. Where did you hike? At Yosemite. Oh, beautiful. It was, it was a wonderful yes. experience. It makes it easier to hike at Yosemite because the scenery is Yeah, you just can just so, relax and watch. So gorgeous and half dome doesn't even look yeah. like it's real, does it? So we, now we have the Indian Association of South Country. Indian Association of South Here they County. Now that's beautiful. Again, well representing America. We have many cultures living in our beautiful country and our beautiful state of California. And driving by is the Honda of Morgan Hill. Honda of Morgan Hill is well represented in this yes, place. <laughs> they have had uh, numerous cars go through. This is really their second round of, of various cars. I wonder if their sales will go up after the parade yes. today. I test drove their Honda CRV recently, which was a really nice, nice, smaller utility vehicle, very comfortable, very good ratings. And this is their their truck that's going by. You don't hear too much about the Honda pickup truck. You usually hear about Fords and uh, Chevys. I know my son Nick drives his Chevy Silverado, which is a really nice pickup truck. Now this banner here coming by is promoting volunteerism and volunteer for the 4th of July Parade. You know, Morgan Hill is really known for volunteerism. I was at the Starbucks down there on uh, South Monterey one day, and it was during one of our regional soccer competitions, and some folks were there from out of town, and they commented to my husband and me, they said they looked up on the board in Starbucks, and they said they saw more information about volunteerism and they they instantly got the flavor they knew Morgan, yeah. Hill, till, here, many, Morgan Hill was a volunteerism town many people volunteer here and I love it I love to see much more than other communities I out. think you I know? love to volunteer and help out with different things in the community well and which is excellent meet everybody meet make sure just get to know everybody right. here and you feel it's good wonderful. when you when you reach out yeah. and give back Coming up is the Gymnastics Academy. It looks like the younger kids. Gymnastics, that's a fabulous sport. You have to be quite flexible. You have yeah. to have a little bit of uh, risk taking in your personality or be fearless, right? Which is good they start so young to do the... It is. 
and even parallel bars and the balance beam and it sounds so scary but it I does understand how some kids do it now here's some singing Emily coming, <laughs> do you know these singers coming up is the Knights of Columbus Knights of Columbus Wonderful to hear people sing. One of our songs of America. Yeah. You learned this song in elementary school. Such a beautiful day out today. Oh, it is a beautiful day. You know, it's not too hot. Yeah. It's not cool. It's it really is perfect weather. In uh, my sport of tennis, we'd say yeah. this is perfect tennis weather. Of course, we're usually out there on the courts early in the summer. But, uh, oh, we've got some more music. It's yes. fabulous. We have another some band. Jazz music. Who is this? This is Valley Christian. Oh, Valley Christian. Cool. Wonderful jazz music play. Isn't that wonderful? Conservatory of the Arts. Yes. It's a private Christian school just located north of us in South San Jose. And we have a lot of Morgan Hills students that attend Valley Christian. We do. Granite Rock was uh, represented there in the vehicle that just went by. And coming up is the... Oh, have you been there, Emily? To yes, the Air I Museum. Have. The Air Museum is wonderful. I've volunteered there a couple of times when they have their air shows. Have yes. you been to any of them? No, not to the air show. I've been they, to the museum. They've had a couple air sh They have a few, but they uh, they fly some planes. You could get a ride. Really? And then there's some like some floats you can go on. And stuff. I didn't know that. That's it's quite excellent. fun. Did you fly in the planes? No, I've volunteered there a couple times though. Really? Excellent. This is St. Catherine Church. We saw, thank you. Oh, here we go, Emily. You talked about the it. The air show. The air show 2014 is July 12th and 13th, which is next weekend. And St. Catharines has their fall fun fest. They're advertising that on the back of their float. We had talked about St. Mary's School. This is St. Catharines that just passed. Another one. It's our local Catholic school in Morgan Hill. This is Bob and Maureen Hunt. There are parade chairs. And it looks like they have their friends in tow. <laughs> And that is the last participant, I believe, in our beautiful Morgan Hill Fourth of July parade. Yes. Oh, it always goes by too fast for me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I always want more of our wonderful parade. That really was fun. It's a wonderful show to watch. Wonderful show. Okay. So it's time now. All I right. Think, to well, that's about the end the of the parade, parade here. Um, that was the, uh, the official end of the parade. Usually they're on a fire truck. I'm surprised they're not. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had all the fire that. trucks yeah. up front and early. Yeah. So uh, first, I'd like to uh, thank our special guest here for coming and announcing, my friend Kim Panos. My pleasure. My pleasure. And Emily Carrillo. And I'd like to uh, thank all the crew that helped us out here. There's Larry Talbot over there, Teresa Whittleson, Jim Carrillo, he's over there, and we have some... A few of my... That's Jacob, my sister's friend. He came to help out. And my sister's over there. They've been filming. All right, so we had, uh, I thought it was a great parade. And I think we're going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. And uh, it'll be playing actually on... The Channel, channel 19 cable. Uh, we're going to replay the parade pretty much over the rest of the day. So anytime, and it's also streaming on mhat.tv, and it'll be showing it. So if you miss part of the parade, you can tune in and watch the whole thing again 
over and over again all day if you want you to. You never have too much. Yeah. That's right. Thanks, and Morgan Hill, have fun today, 4th of July. All right, happy 4th.